Hi again, I'm Callum from Termix Chester, welcoming you to the first of what will hopefully be a new regular feature that I'm calling Callum's Concoctions. Now what is that? I hear maybe four of you ask. Well, one of my favourite things about pipe smoking is that the range of tobacco available allows you to really get creative and mix up some really interesting mixtures of your own. Now, it used to be that we could make our own custom mixes in the shop. Uh, so we could take a specific recipe or specific requirements from a customer and come up with some kind of interesting concoction of our own making, especially for them. Now, sadly, we're not allowed to do that anymore due to the law changes in 2017. However, that doesn't mean we can't have some fun. So what I'm going to start doing is hopefully about once a week, I'm going to try and come up with a new mix of tobaccos using existing blends uh, to see if I can come up with anything new and interesting that hopefully, if you like, you can try yourself at home. Similarly, if you've got any ideas that you'd like to see me have a go at, or if you've got anything you'd like to try and see me replicate, or just an idea that you'd like me to try and come up with, uh, just get in touch and I'll see if I can do something for you. Anyway, let's get rolling on the first one. So, for my first video, I've decided to go down the more traditional route mostly because I'm really into English mixes at the moment and also just because they're relatively simple flavours so it'd be a nice easy one to start us off with. So as I say I've been quite into my English mixes lately and I'm in the mood for something full bodied as possible so I'm going to start with a base of Dunhill Nightcap. As you might know I'm super into this tobacco at the moment you might have seen my video review of it, but if you didn't, just know it is one of the more forwarded English blends on the market and it's specifically intended for helping you relax at the end of the day with its heady combination of Virginia's Oriental, and Latakia and various other tobacco. So I'm going to start with just a couple of grams of this and then because we are also a Cuban cigar specialist, as I'm sure you're aware, I thought it would be interesting to see how it acts if I add some of this 100% Cuban tobacco from McConnell's. Uh, considering Cuban tobacco is regarded as being the best on the planet, I feel it's criminally underutilised in pipe tobacco blends, whereas obviously it's perfectly usable in that. So it's nice to see a blend that makes up the option. So I'm going to stick some of this in and hopefully that'll add a really nice robust edge to an already full bodied rich tasting tobacco. So just to start off, I'm gonna start with two grams, just to give it a 50-50 mix. And I'm just gonna blend it up. We'll say if you're trying this at home, ideally you'd wanna leave your tobacco for a little bit, a few weeks, few months, longer the better, uh, just to allow all the oils to blend together and marry, just to give you the best possible combination of flavors. But because I'm not gonna wait that long for a video, obviously I'm just gonna try this as it is. So I'm just gonna get my pipe full and then I will give it a taste. Mm. Okay, so that's good, I like that. Um, I can only really taste the nightcap though, I'm finding, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I suppose it makes sense because it is such, such a full body tobacco, but I did think the Cuban stuff might have a bit more of an impact on it, but it doesn't look like it's going to. So I am going to add another little bit of Cuban, of the Cuban mix. So hopefully this now will come across more in the actual blend. So I'll just empty out my pipe and try a new one. That's better. Okay, so the nightcap's still there, definitely. Um, I don't think there's many tobacco blends on the market that could actually override the flavor of the nightcap. But this time the Cuban tobacco is coming in in a much more noticeable way. It's giving this really nice earthy, spicy character on the edge of the nightcap. Um, so it's almost, um, it's almost like a Maduro, like a smoky Maduro cigar, because the nightcap itself is actually quite sweet for how full bodied it is. Um, so that combined with the rich spiciness of the Cuban tobacco is really, really coming together nicely. So yeah, I think this has worked. I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, if you do want to try it yourself in the end, 
it wound up being three grams of the McConnell's Cuban and then two grams of the nightcap. And obviously for bigger amounts, just sort of increase both portions there. Um, and if there's anything you want to see me try, uh, just let us know. We've got various social media outlets, um, emails, so get in touch however you like and give us some ideas and I will try and concoct them in the future. Thank you.